Welcome back everyone to another second stimulus package and second stimulus check update. Today is Friday, December 4th. This is your stimulus check update for today. And in this video, I want to do specifically in this particular video is I want to address what's at stake here regarding that new stimulus package that is definitely building and optimism is growing. I want to address what's at stake. What are the elements here that are on the table? And if this does not get passed, what is at risk? That's what we're going to be uncovering in this video. And once again, we have been gaining even more subscribers just over the last 24 hours alone, let alone the last couple days and couple weeks. So I do want to thank every single one of you once again. I have to thank the people. They are the most important element of this channel because it's the only reason why I can do this. Without you guys, I'm not able to do this. So I do appreciate your support. I thank you and I appreciate all of you. And if you're not subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell as well. That will just notify you every single time we do make a new video. And despite the partisanship of stimulus and whether or not we lean red or lean blue, one way we absolutely do lean blue is when it comes to the like button. If you haven't already, turn that like button blue, give the video a big thumbs up, smash the like button. I would greatly appreciate that. Just help with that YouTube algorithm and it does support me and my channel and it increases the eyeballs on the video and it's totally free to do so. So if you just go ahead and smash the like button as well, we can get started. I do appreciate it. Okay, so now that you've done those few things, we can get the ball rolling. So what is at stake here when it comes to this package? It is advancing. Optimism is in fact growing. You cannot deny that the hype surrounding this new stimulus package is definitely mounting. We have great bipartisan support from Republicans that you would have never imagined would support a bill like this. They're now coming on board. So what's at stake and what could we expect in this package that could potentially be at risk if it does not get passed. Moderates from both sides of the aisle are now putting massive amounts of pressure on both House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, and this nearly $1 trillion bill could very well pass. And we need relief, at least before the end of the year. We need relief before Christmas, ideally next week if we can get it. The success of this package is definitely not certain. There are still considerable differences between both parties, but there's also elements in there that are surefire bets that you could definitely put your money on. So number one, the first factor that's at risk here and that's on the table is definitely going to be those supplemental unemployment benefits. The CARES Act called for $600 in supplemental government unemployment benefits on top of the state benefits. And this allowed families to be able to sustain their income and also bolster up consumer demand over the springtime lockdowns earlier this year. These benefits expire July 31st. Republicans were adamant about not extending these benefits, especially at the time as it looked like the virus was going away and the picture was much more rosy during those times. But now, as we know, it has hit record highs and out of control cases and deaths all over the country. The CARES Act also allowed states to extend their unemployment benefits on an emergency basis, but those are also set to expire December 31st and they will dry up and now people will be at without both the unemployment benefits at the federal level as well as the state level. Most likely a new stimulus deal will extend these benefits, but half the amount. This new bipartisan framework would call for $300 in benefits, not $600, but it would still be on top of the state benefits, which would also most likely be extended by the states. Another sure thing that we can expect in the next package if it does get passed is a reauthorization of the PPP or Paycheck Protection Program. This was established by the CARES Act back in March and it gave businesses subsidies to hold them up during the pandemic and be able to keep their employees on payroll. This does also carry bipartisan support, but it's mostly favored by Republicans. And we know that from infusions over the summer and the springtime, the leftover of funds from the CARES Act and other bills passed over the last year or so would in fact cover about half of the $300 billion cost or so. Another factor definitely at risk here is direct payments or your next stimulus check. Another second stimulus check was largely favored by the White House and President Trump, another $1,200 direct payment. However, what we saw from previous bills that were passed over the last several months from Republicans in the Senate was that these smaller targeted bills did not even mention a second stimulus check. To send out another $1,200 check to most Americans that are eligible would carry another $300 billion cost, and the most recent framework that was passed by the Problem Solvers Caucus as well as other moderates and centrist lawmakers 
did not include a stimulus check. That recent bill does not mention a stimulus check. And another line item here that's mostly favored by Democrats, but strongly opposed by many Republicans, is additional aid and funding to state and local governments. This next round of aid to state and local governments would follow the roughly $150 billion in state and local aid that was passed back in the spring. And the reason Republicans are so strongly and fervently against it is because they're calling it a bailout to Democrat-run states like New York and California, and they're basically accusing the Democrats of pork and barrel politics. Pelosi has since lowered the amount of funding that she would like to see in the next stimulus package to go to states and localities. She has drastically lowered her price tag, but the newest framework from bipartisans would call for $160 billion just in state and local government aid. The next item on the list is going to be liability shields or liability protections, and McConnell has been one of the most passionate supporters of liability protections to be included in the next stimulus bill. Businesses for months opening during this pandemic have been seeking a liability protection against lawsuits claiming negligence for COVID-19 outbreaks. McConnell has been one of the most potent, popular backers of this idea. He has drafted sweeping protections against lawsuits for businesses, universities, and other organizations. And the powerful trial lawyers lobby, which still holds great influence with Democrats, is opposed to this protection. McConnell's fear of a wave of COVID-19 related lawsuits have not materialized. And we know so far that veteran Senate Judiciary Committee members Dick Durbin from Illinois, a Democrat, John Cornyn from Texas, a Republican, they've been deputized to negotiate the issue, which is a sign that talks are happening at a serious stage. Other miscellaneous areas and numerous smaller items could be included, and these are also at stake, such as $10 billion for the Postal Service, a $20 billion plus deal adding food aid sought by Democrats and farm subsidies favored by Republicans, more than $100 billion in funding for schools seeking to reopen, along with funding for childcare, Amtrak, transit systems, and healthcare providers. So important right now, especially with the distribution of the vaccine rolling out. Let's not fall into despair just yet. There is hope for stimulus to be passed. Biden, president-elect, would like to see it happen before he steps into office. And hope is as high as it has ever been in the last few months at least. So that's a list of what is at risk here with this new stimulus bill if it does not get a pass. Did I miss anything? Let me know down below in the comments. Do you think there should be other line items included in there that we did not mention in this video? What would you like to see in the next stimulus package? Let us know down below in the comments. But I do hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, smash the like button for me. And as always, if you're not subscribed yet, do consider hitting that big red button. Also, with the notification bell as well. This is a crucial turning point where we could see something happening. So developments are being released by the daily now. So you don't want to miss anything. You don't want to miss a beat. Be sure you are subscribed and notification bell is clicked. I do look forward to seeing you in the next video.